Hello everyone, welcome to Micro Minute. My name is Marty Jobson and under the microscope today I've got a specimen that my wife noticed actually when we went out for our socially distanced walk this weekend. Um, she saw a tree that had some peculiar growths on it. Now we both knew that these were what are known as leaf galls but I didn't really know anything more than that. So I, I went back, plucked a few leaves, and I thought we could take a look at them and find out what's going on under the microscope. Let's start with the desk camera. So I'll pop the desk camera on. Here we go, here it is. So these are the leaves of, um, it's actually a lime tree, Tilia uh, is the Latin uh, for genus. Uh, hang on, good. yeah, genus, uh, genus uh, is Tilia. And you can see it's got these peculiar growths on the leaves. Now the leaves are covered in black mould, which is there because of aphids producing lots of sugar honeydew. And I discussed that in another video, which uh, you can see when I looked at aphids. But these things are very peculiar. Look at them. They're about, oh, they must be nearly six, seven, eight millimetres long. They're sort of tall, little tubey things. Um, some of them are distinctly, I'm going to put my glasses on because I can't see what I'm looking at. Some of them are sort of, they're sort of pinky here. Um, and um, I don't really know what's going on. So let's take a look inside one of these. And what I'm going to do is I've got a nice, a very sharp scalpel blade here. Let's um, trim out a little section of leaf here like that. And then we can cut some of them open. There we go. Let's get rid of this bit. I'm not really interested in that because there, there are our little... Um, leaf galls. Now I look this up and these are called lime, these are lime nail galls because they look like nails have been kind of knocked through sort of, so not nails as in fingernails but nails as in bang 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 hammer and nails. So let's um, cut one of these open. There is something you can see there's a sort of a, a dimple on the bottom as well where the nail gall is. Anyway let's slice this one open here, let's do this one here. Let's cut you open. Have a look what's inside this. This is the tricky bit. Right, there we go. And then we'll put that there like that. Oh, and this one's conveniently broken away from its bit of leaf. Now I'm going to put the whole thing underneath the microscope. And I'm using this green background because it creates better contrast. This camera can't cope otherwise um, because the, the, everything's quite dark because it's all coloured, covered in black soot. So I'm going to stick this under the microscope. While I'm doing that, you can come back to this. Uh, I'm going to line it up, make sure I've got the right thing. And let's just have a little zoom in. I'm going to focus on this thing. Oh, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Right, let's go to the microscope. So there you go. That's what it looks like. Actually, um, what I'm going to do is I have, for reasons uh, complicated, um, got it back to front and upside down. There you go, that's better. So there it is. It's a peculiar looking thing. Um, you've got his, this is the base where it was attached to the leaf. And then that's the length of it. As I say, it's about eight millimetres, seven, eight millimetres long. And you can see it's sort of full of fibrous stuff. Um, and there's definitely a sort of a, a pore, a, a sort of an entryway at the bottom. So uh, I am indeed expecting some sort of critter inside here. There we go. Uh, I wonder if, if I turn this through 90 degrees, mm, 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 can I do that? I'm going to have to do this, I'm going to have to actually turn the specimen rather than my sample through 90 degrees. So if I do that, then we can sort of see it in a bit more detail, like that. So there, you can see in a bit more detail now, as I focus on it, you've got, uh, there's where it's attached to the leaf, and there's a little pore at the bottom, and then it's full of this fibrous stuff. And if we zoom in even closer, hopefully we should be able to see the critters that are responsible for making this. And have we got any there? Yes, we have. Now, these things are really very small. Uh, they are sort of on the limits of what I can show you. And in fact, there's an obvious one right there. Can you see it crawling along? It looks, to all intents and purposes like a maggot or something, but it's not. These are actually mites. So mites are, and in fact, look at it. If you look at it, suddenly you begin to see them and the, it is absolutely teeming with them. 
Every single one of these little blobs, these sort of yellowy white blobs, is one of these tiny little mites. Now, the long strands that you can see, the hair-like things, that's part of the plant. The creature that makes this is called Eriophyes tiliae. And the fact that it's called tiliae gives you a clue that it's only on lime tree. And these are the lime nail gall mites. They make these lime nail galls. They only live on lime trees and they only live on particular species of lime trees. So you have different lime tree nail mites, sorry, lime nail gall mites on different types of lime tree, because there are lots of different species of lime tree. I, did, I, didn't, I haven't worked out which species this was, because I literally just grabbed it. But you can see the whole thing is absolutely teeming with them. It's slightly disgusting. And what these things are, so mites are actually uh, relatives of arachnids. They're, um, they're, they're relatives of spiders. So they've actually got eight legs. They don't have wings. They've got fairly simple bodies. They're simpler even than spiders, which just have a front bit and a back bit these just have a bit with eight legs sticking out look there's one walking scriggling along look there you get quite a good you can see it's basically a big fat body look, there it is Ooh, where are you it, uh, uh, there it is it's basically a big fat body with legs at the front all the legs are sticking right at the front and it just sort of crawls along with its legs at the front eight legs <laughs> like that, with a big fat maggoty body at the back so it's slightly disgusting really um and what these things do is they overwinter in the bark of the tree if we let's have a look at the bottom end of it here and you can see they're kind of crawling out of the bottom end of it there okay they overwinter in the little crevices in the bark and obviously birds will eat them but enough of them survive so then they crawl back out onto the leaves and they start sucking the sap they are sap suckers they don't eat the tree per se, but they do secrete chemicals. And when they secrete chemicals, those chemicals um, have a very peculiar effect on the tree. The effect on the tree is to grow these bizarre structures. It grows these galls, these things here. OK, these things are a result of the chemicals that are secreted that cause the tree, the, the cells of the tree to start to grow in a peculiar way. They form these little towers and then they make these little sort of hairs grow out inside the tower that it creates. It creates its own little home and then it inv invades inside, lays eggs, the eggs hatch, we get lots more and they sap, they suck the, the floor, they suck the sap, it's harder to say than you might imagine, they suck the sap from these little hairs that stick out. It's, they create their own food source, they create their own home. It's a fantastic piece of, I mean, it's purely parasitic, obviously, except it might not actually be very parasitic. It might be more sort of what's known as a commensal relationship where they, they don't really, the, the two organisms, the tree and the, uh, and the mites kind of just live with each other. Nobody really gets harmed because doesn't really harm. And I mean, even a bad infestation, the tree seems to be able to just keep going. So there you go. When you see these funny little things and you see them often on sycamore trees or on lime trees and even on oak trees, you see them. They tend to be little blobs uh, rather than the tall, sticky up ones. They are caused by mites that are living inside there and they are really, really small. So I'm going to zoom back in on this. If I can get this sort of lying a bit flatter then uh, we'll get a sort of a, a top-down view of it. Let's see if I can do that. Can I do that? Yes, there we go. And then we'll zoom right in and you can see all of their wriggly grossness. There they are, wriggling away like crazy inside the lime nail gall. Um, Eriophyes tiliae. So there you go. Um, I hope you enjoyed that in all its disgustingness. There is plenty of other microscopic videos for you to watch. Go along and take a look at my YouTube channel, which is fairly easy to find. It's just my name, Marty Jobson, uh, youtube.com, Marty Jobson. Nice and easy. Alternatively, follow me on Twitter. Uh, everything goes live on uh, Twitter first and then goes up to YouTube afterwards, which uh, so you can catch up on anything like that. Right, um, that's all from me for now. Um, have a good day. Enjoy uh, the rest of my micro minutes and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.